Good morning, friends. Signal Hunter here. Well, I got a temporary setup here for my uh, Meg Active 305 FT. This is a, uh, a portable satellite dish tripod. We used to use it when we were camping, put a satellite dish on. You know, this thing sells for like, I don't know, 19 euros on eBay. And uh, so these, this pole here, this is actually a, a uh, camouflage netting support from the German Army. Americans use the same ones. And if you look all the way up there, there's a mega active antenna. And uh, just so happens that this fits right down inside perfectly. And so I raised it up a little off the bottom because it has a plastic bottom down there. And drill a hole and I have a pin in there, which actually is a, a key. But uh, to hold it steady. And but this is really it's just this is temporary. I just put it in my garden so I could test it out. And I got running over here to the window, through the window, around to my radio. And uh, this morning, I don't know when I got here, I was listening to voice of Turkey, of course it's in Turkish, and uh, at 11, 750, it's about 2,100 kilometers from, uh, from my QTH. Let's see if I can get it in. And let's see what happens when I turn on the power. There you go, it works pretty well. Let's see what happens when I turn it off. I have actually absolutely no signal. Well, there's barely a signal there. But uh, with the antenna on. Got about 9 dB, I guess. So let's walk back outside and I want to show you something. Now, people say this the these active antennas pick up noise and it just amplifies noise well that's not always true i found it to be i want you to look up here on my roof right here adjacent to the antenna is a power line you run right across the top of the house it's absolutely no interference now i've tried it all weekend there's absolutely no interference from that power line the electrical noise to this antenna. I don't know why. I would expect there would be some noise, but it's not. And uh, so there it is. Let me turn it back on. The only problem is I have a problem with this power brick. It turns off by itself. It'll run for about two or three minutes. And uh, then it'll shut off. And I don't think but it's about four or five euros, so I'm not even gonna send it back. I'm just go down to Media Mart and buy another one. And uh, I might eventually buy the the uh, the AC uh, power supply for this because uh, I'm gonna set it up up on. I'm gonna set the sand as soon as I get some more coax. I'm gonna set it up on the hill, get it away from the power line. And uh, for those of you who are safety conscious, uh, no, it won't quite reach the power line if it was to fall over. But that stand is very, very stable. It would take a lot of wind to blow that thing over. And uh, it actually comes with some pegs so you can stick it in the ground. And uh, uh, to secure it, you know, when you're on a, on a, you see it turned off. <laughs> so that power block is defective. And uh, I tried one of my, my daughter's uh, power bricks or power blocks, whatever you want to call it. I tried one of hers and it didn't do it, so this thing here is defective. And it's so nice too because it has a metal cover. I really like it. You know, but anyway, that's what I've been doing so far today. So you guys have a great Saturday, a better Sunday. Signal Hunter said, out.